Shall we give him thanks again for answered prayers today? Thank you, Jesus. For answers to our prayers this evening, we give you all the praise. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Fasting provides a platform for expedite answers to prayers. Then shall thou call. And the Lord shall answer. He said, this is the fast I have chosen. Yes. This is why I prescribe fasting. Amen. 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 That will cry and it will say, here I am. Mm. So when we call him in a fast, he's committed. Amen. Every prayer prayed by faith in a fast, God is committed to deliver. Amen. And so, is every prayer you have prayed in these first two days and the one you will pray in the five days ahead. Amen. Expect expedite answers to your prayers. Amen. Jesus, speak to me tonight. Go ahead and pray. I want to hear from you, Jesus. Take all the praise, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Lord Jesus, I ask tonight that your word will locate each one of us. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. It's my year of breaking limits. One of the blessings of our fast is outbreak of revelations. Your life shall break forth as the morning. Yes. In the course of a fast. And your head shall spring forth speedily. And things that defy will depart from you. And the glory of the Lord shall be upon your life. Outbreak of light. So every time you are in a fast, Take advantage of these two main factors. Be sure you are in prayer. You are in prayers. Two, be sure you are searching scriptures. There's always a strange opening when you are in a fast. I know I have a lot of witnesses here. You must have experienced that before. Because the barriers to assessing the light from the world some of them will require prayer and fasting to give up. He said, this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and by fasting. I've had some humbling experiences in my own little life of access into realms of revelations in the course of fasting and prayers. And that is the word of God. As the teaching line for our evening prayer services, this week is captioned, every commandment of scriptures is for our profiting. Can we say that together? Yeah. Every commandment of scriptures is for our profiting. All scriptures is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable. <laughs> so every content of the world is for our profiting. Second Timothy chapter 3 and verse 16. And the purpose that the man of God may be thoroughly furnished. Verse 17. Thoroughly furnished. Thoroughly decorated. Enviably decorated. Gloriously decorated. Unto all good works.
The word says, godliness is profitable unto all things. So it covers all areas of life. Having the promise of the life which now is and the one which is to come. So spiritually does not make failures. Following the war does not make defeated people. Every commandment of scriptures holds a two-way profit. Profit in the now and profit in eternity. Abraham, a blessed soul. A super blessed soul. Jesus saw him in heaven in the parable and saw Lazarus sitting at his foot. In fact, they still call him Father in heaven. Father Abraham. Father Abraham. Apart from Father God, he's the only other father we have there. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Profitable both in the now and in eternity. Profitable both in the now and in eternity. What is godliness? Spirituality. What is spirituality? Scripturality. Living according to scriptures. So, the profit of living according to scriptures holds both here and in eternity. Now watch. It's giving us all things that pertains to life and godliness. How many things? Of course. That pertains to life, the life now, and goodness that secures eternity. All things. Amen. Amen. And deliverable to us through the knowledge of Him. So, operating by what He says is our access to all things that pertains to life and godliness. All things. All things. Godliness is profitable unto all things, He has given us all things. I've come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Now, some people just miss it. They think spirituality means frustration, devastation, setback. No, that's not what it is. Redemption is Access to our free offer to a glorious destiny. Free offer. The people he has been destinated. He has called. The people he has called, he has justified. And the people he has justified, he has glorified. He has glorified. So we are called unto glory and virtue, not shame and reproach. How do I get there? Whatever it tells you to do, do it. Is a way out of shame and reproach. Is a way out of defeat and failure. Is a way out of frustration and despair. Whatever it tells you to do, do it. Whatever it tells you to do, do it. God's word is the answer book to all of the questions of man. You know what he said to Peter? Go to the temple and speak to them. All the words of this life. <laughs> Is it a career? Is it business? Is it family? Is it children? Is it grandchildren? Amen. Is it finance? Is it your health? All the words of this life. As chapter 5 and verse 20. Now let's look at one of the commandments here this evening. Kingdom advancement prayer commandment. Before I go to that, the anchor scripture here is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1 to 3. Every commandment of scripture is for our profiting, and it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord your God and observe to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come unto thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord. Blessed shall thou be in the city, and blessed shall thou be in the field, and so on and so forth. Praise God. The commandment of scriptures is our access to all those blessings all the way to verse 12. All those blessings, they are awaiting delivery through our obedience of faith. All those blessings, they await our delivery
through our obedience of faith. Now, kingdom advancement prayer commandment. Kingdom Advancement Prayer is our open-ended opportunity to serve. Open-ended opportunity. There is no limit to how many can engage in it. In fact, it's ordained for all of us to engage in it. Teach us how to pray. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 8. He said in verse 9, When ye pray, say, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is done in heaven. Priority. That is his ordained priority on our prayer altar. When will his kingdom come? This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached among all nations and then shall the end come. That's the covenant. This gospel, Matthew 24 verse 14, of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come. Thy will be done on earth. What's his will? God so loved the world, the Son of God, the Son of whoever believes in him, should not perish but have everlasting life. Hmm. His will is to see that no one perishes. But that all should believe, and they can't believe until they hear. Praise God. 2 Peter 3 9, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Not willing. So his will is that all should come to repentance. 1 Timothy 2 4, who will, that's his will, have all men to be saved. Amen. Not willing that any should perish. Who will? Have all men to be saved and to be gathered into church for education in the knowledge of the truth. Praise God. Hallelujah. When I entered into the sanctuary of the Lord, then understood I, Psalm 73 and verse 17, he has positioned apostles and prophets, pastors and teachers in church. For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the defining of the body of Christ. Amen. Till we all come in the unity of faith, that's spiritual development, and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man. Amen. Amen. I'll give to you, pastors, out of my own heart, who shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Pastors have their base in church. Pastors and the podium and the pulpit, they live together. That's where we are fed with wisdom and understanding. Now, so to come to knowledge of the truth means you are not only saved, you are brought into church where you will come to the knowledge of the truth. Can I hear your Amen. amen. All these are the subject of kingdom advancement prayers. They are the core factors. People don't just get saved. The salvation of men and women are products of other people's prayers. Amen. Amen. You have not because you ask not. You have not because you ask not. James 4.2 Ask 
ask of me and I'll give you the heathens for your inheritance and the uttermost part of the earth for their possession. So salvation is a product of intercession. When a strong man armed keepeth his palace, his goods are in peace. But when a stronger one than him shall come upon him and overcome him, he takes away from him the arms in which he trusts and he allows his captives to go. That's spiritual warfare on the altar of prayer. Breaking the hold of the devil, of the life of God's people, to bring them into the kingdom. Amen. When ye pray, say our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Now who should pray this prayer? Everyone that needs what is contained from 11 to 13 is to pray this prayer. Give us this day our daily bread. Anyone who knows how to pray, give us our daily bread, is forced to pray, thy kingdom come and thy will be done on earth that is done in heaven. Deliver us from evil. Anyone that wants to be delivered from evil. Lead us to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For there is a kingdom and the power and the glory. Must know first how to pray. Thy kingdom come. So we are praying for souls to be saved. And we are praying for the churches to remain centers of spiritual illumination. Where people come and get built up. So they can be established in the faith. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That's why the Bible said, Jesus speaking in a parable, men ought always to pray and not to faint. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. That's why he said in First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 17, pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. But what is in it for us? Kingdom advancement prayers guarantees open rewards. God who sees your prayers in secret according to the pattern of prayer he taught us to pray. He will reward you openly. Matthew 6, 6 and then 17 and 18 when you fast, like we are fasting now, God who sees the content of your prayer in a fast, if it's done according to the pattern that he laid, shall reward you openly. That's why we charge ourselves. Leave your issues alone. Focus on his matters so he can take over your matters. He said, we shall not need to fight in this battle. You just set yourself. Stand ye still and watch me display. <laughs> and so God said, and Bushman again, they didn't have to shoot one gunshot. The enemies faced themselves and cleared themselves out. And there was not one that escaped. When God takes over, it's always a great drama. It's always a great drama. Now watch it. For anyone who cares to stay on this prophetic charge, by the time the seven days is over, you discover God has taken over your matter. Amen. That man that suffered diabetes for 12 years, he said, in one week, it cleared off. One week. One week. Somebody had a dilapidating heart situation. His heart was pumping at about 2%. And stayed on this. And the doctor said, what have you been doing? You have a brand new heart. Brand new heart. He got free. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And all other things that are a matter to you shall be added. Whatever appears a concern to you will be added as testimonies. Amen. Shall be added as testimonies. Amen. Shall be added as testimonies. Amen. Shall be added as testimonies. Amen. They shall be added as testimonies. Amen.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That's what God has reserved for us in this season. Don't miss it for anything. Now, I'd like to let you know today that what keeps us in motion is passion. What is it? Passion. Not the anointing. Not a calling. What keeps believers in motion in their walk with God is passion. 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 Before Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit, we saw passion in this play. Why are you looking for me? Don't you think I must be about my father's business? At the age of 12. Passion. Passion. We saw I invaded the temple and chased away all that buy and sell. And they say, the zeal of thy house has consumed me. Passion. Passion. No matter how grand the car without fuel, it can't be emotion. It can't be emotion. It has cost you a lot of money to buy that car, but it will require fuel to move. Passion is that fuel. Life in the kingdom is motionless without passion. Life in the kingdom is motionless without passion. It's motionless. Didn't you see passion display in that woman when she discovered Jesus in the living water? The Samaritan woman. He, he went wide to town. And they came to meet Jesus. Some believed because of her word. Others believed when they had Jesus. Same day. Passion. Driven by passion. What you have been looking for, I just found it by the well. Jesus. Jesus. This is the Christ. Passion. Passion. You saw how passionate the man born blind was. He said, Look, oh, listen, you are the one who taught us that God does not hear sinners. This man, you say you don't know where he came from, but he opened my eyes. I said, He's a sinner. You say God does not hear sinners. You think I forgot what you said? I was only blind, I'm not deaf. I had you. <laughs> Amen. Will you also be his disciple? I mean, he was harassing them. He was on the wings of passion. The man of Gadarene, the madman of Gadarene, God delivered, pleaded to go with Jesus. Jesus said, No, go to your family and tell them how great things was. And he went and published it all through the Capulis. When Jesus went back to that place, multitudes gathered. Multitudes gathered because of the broadcast, the publishing of this man. Glory to God. So it takes passion to engage in kingdom advancement prayer. It takes passion. Otherwise, it become a burdensome task. Colossians chapter 4, verse 12 and 13. Let's see the place of passion. In praying kingdom and advancement prayer. Epaphras, who is one of you, a servant of Christ, saluted you, always laboring fervently for you in prayers, that he may stand fast and complete in all the will of God. For I bear him record that he has a great zeal for you. Great zeal. And them that are in Laodicea, and them in Herapolis. He had great zeal. Great zeal for the kingdom. We put you on the plot, on the altar of effectual fervent prayer. It takes great zeal to demonstrate great fervency in praying kingdom advancement prayer. Let me conclude this evening. Without passion, Christianity is reduced to a weight. He said, lay aside every weight 
it just become a religious weight. Without passion, redemption is reduced to a burden. Every commandment grieves you. Passion is what makes our work with God sweet. And what's the conclusion? Zeal is a choice. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 24 and 25, by faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. A choice. Unusual zeal. That zeal was still born in him 40 years after. That zeal brought him back to Egypt without fearing the terror of the king. That zeal brought the giant him out. You want to see another zeal? Hebrews 11 verse 19. We saw Abraham here. Accounting that God was able to raise Isaac up even from the dead. From whence he also received him in a figure. By faith, when God commanded him to offer up Isaac, he went. Accounting of God, accounting of God, said by faith, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac. And he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son. Accounting of God. Praise God. Amen. Wait a minute. <laughs> In our own time, when you are called to ministry, it's like a cross. One of my very concerned elder brothers in the faith, or no, one of the great apostles of our time, he said, David, God has not called you to full-time ministry. God is not doing that anymore. He's raising now tent makers. You'll be doing your job and you'll be doing the ministry. I say, I heard from God. He said, no. I said, I had him by myself. I had him by myself, sir. He said, we shall see. I said, we shall see. My wife was there. I said, Jesus, should I pretend not to have had you? See that I don't succeed in any other thing I do. You don't know zeal? I have been telling you all my life. You don't know my secret to know my heartbeat for God. I will never let go of anything God said, no matter how harsh you may look. That's your look. Amen. Those who look to the sun don't see the shadows. We met some years later and said, David, I just wanted to be sure that you are sure. What if I bow to what he said? I will have missed my place in destiny. Without zeal, your future is in doubt. You need a zeal for God that will make you go after him by all means. He waited for Isaac for 25 years and he started to offer him for his sacrifice. And he said, I know God can raise him from the dead. Ah, what kind of man is this? After you remove his head, God will now join the neck. Amen. Passion for God is the security of our work with him. May your passion come alive. Amen. For things of the kingdom. Amen. In this great week. Amen. May you pray like never before in your life. Amen. And secure is us, the kind you have never read of. In the name of Jesus Christ. Stand to your feet. Give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Lord, engrace me with unfailing passion in my kingdom advancement prayer. Go ahead and pray. Ignite my passion to keep burning hotter by the day. To keep burning hotter by the day. In the pursuit of you and the interests of your kingdom. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Amen. You know the difference between driving a car and pushing a car? <laughs> pushing a car from here to Sango Roundabout under the bridge is more laborious than driving from here to Akure. There are many passionate believers who are simply just pushing. Mm. They say we should come for prayer. Oh God. Mm. <laughs> Amen. Mm. Amen. Mm. The way I'm looking at him, I can still say we should continue to fast. <laughs> you know why he's pushing? It's pushing. It's pushing. It's pushing. The difference between riding and pushing is wide. The difference between riding and flying mm. is wider. Hallelujah. May your Z get you on a flight in your walk. Yeah. May your Z. Get you on a flight in your walk with God. Yeah. We have crawled enough. We have pushed enough. <laughs> it's time to ride. Yes. And it's time for a flight. Hallelujah. That you will be praying king of advancement prayer with delight. Somebody can't do that for five hours, sir. Without foil. There is a spiritual foil. You walk through the length and breadth of your room smiling. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus, everything standing against the massive salvation of souls in this season is caused in the name of Jesus. And then you feel like you have won a war. Mm. And then you take the next, next verse and you're just swimming in the spirit. Mm. And then bringing those things one by one and just enforcing divine decrees. Thank you, Lord. Amen. You are not feeling it. So I've never needed anybody to encourage me in my life. And I can use oxy to discourage me. I live above your discouragement. They own your cup of tea. Mm -hmm. they, don't, they don't affect me. It's how you think. And what you think does not change my life. It's what I think that does. Praise God. Yeah. Amen. That's it. It keeps in motion. 
That zeal of God has consumed me. It burns in my soul. We sing that song at the communion. Amen. Amen. And I like to be jumping. Wherever you are in the world, just be jumping. Amen. And that's it, will just be bouncing on your life. Uh, your prayer life tonight will be different. Amen. The remaining five days, God will turn you to a prayer general. Amen. Whatever you decree shall be delivered. Amen. Whatever you pray shall be established. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Take all the glory. Hallelujah. Let your zeal consume everyone under the sound of my voice from across the nations of the world. Yeah. Let this remaining five days be five days on fire. Yeah. Let every prayer altar catch fresh fire. Yeah. And let your name be glorified. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Through your prayers, many shall be saved. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Many shall be established in the faith. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And so shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Please get seated for a moment. Now, I'd like to pray for anyone that is under the sound of my voice this night. You want to be saved or you want to rededicate your life to Jesus. We are not bread and butter believers. We are people who value the word, embrace the word, and are prayed by the word. This is your opportunity. And I'd like to pray with you. You want to rededicate your life to Christ so that this thing will not remain mere stories to you. You want to be saved in case you have never done that before. I'd like to pray with you. Wherever you are, please lift up your right hand and pray this simple prayer of faith after me. Say after me, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I surrender my life to you tonight. To you Forgive me all my sins. Me all my sins. Wash, me with Wash me with your blood. I believe you died for me. On the third day you rose again. That I may be justified. Right now. I believe. My sins are now forgiven. I'm justified by your blood. I'm saved. I'm restored back to the faith. I am now a child of God. Thank you Jesus. For saving my soul. Amen. Now, be blessed of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Amen. I cover everyone that prayed that prayer with the blood of Jesus. You'll never go back anymore. Amen. Grace that brought you in today, the grace that brought you in today will preserve you till the end of time. Amen. You will make your journey to heaven. Amen. You will live a most colorful life on the earth Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Congratulations. 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 Please send us your testimony. We'll be glad to be part of your joy for life. Salvation is the greatest of all testimonies in the kingdom. It's your translation from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. Please send us your testimony and be glad to be part of your joy on this journey. Shall we all rise, please?